That can't be true. That can't be true. Hello my fellow nerds, my name is Jamie and I'm just trying to live my best nerd life. Now we all know about Facebook, right? And we all know about Facebook Marketplace. Well, for the first time ever, I decided to jump on there and see exactly what I could get in my immediate area. And I can tell you, I am not disappointed in what I got. Now the majority of my finds consisted of a big, massive crate of books, which is what the majority of this video is gonna be about. But I just wanna say that I also got this thing, and this is the Fujifilm Coolpix S8650. Yeah, um, <laughs> and it's a really, really nice kind of point and click camera. It's really, really nice. It's got a nice form factor, very compact, and it's just kind of a step, a step up from those kind of just regular cameras that you get. It's a few years old, but again, I only got it for 20 pounds, and it's just perfect for what I want it for. Point and click, shoot, get some nice pictures, job's a good one. Now let's get to the main point of this video, the big, big crate of books which I've got off to my side here. <laughs> I don't want to call this an unboxing video because there's nothing to unbox, it's kind of an open crate. Um, and I can see some of the books, so some of them aren't going to be a surprise. Now I've not had a big in-depth look of these, I've literally just got back from collecting them. So a lot of them are going to be a surprise to me, but some of them I can see already. Um, and to be honest, they are making me quite excited. But anyway, let's get on with the video. Now first off we have David Benioff's, oh that rhymes, City of Thieves. And we have... Karl Marx and Frederick Engels, The Communist Manifesto, one of the Oxford World Classics. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be reading that, but yeah, we'll see. So yeah, next up we have Philip K. Dick's Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Yes, I have seen Blade Runner, and yes, it does say it on the front. It says the novel which became Blade Runner. So yeah, pretty, um, <laughs> pretty famous book, I will say. Next up. Oh, we've got Arthur C. Clarke, Expedition to Earth. Um, yes, I've heard of Arthur C. Clarke. I've not heard of this book, but now I have it. So, yeah. Oh, actually, I have heard of this. I just didn't know that... It, it, I didn't know this particular book existed. It's, it includes The Sentinel, which inspired 2001 A Space Odyssey. Okay, I have heard of this. And man, it's really old. <laughs> Cool, yeah, can we read that? Next up we've got Edmund Cooper the Tenth Planet. Not heard of that, not heard of the author either, so yeah. Now we have oh yes, yes, George Orwell, Animal Farm. Read this, although the one that I read was a little more modern, I'll say, in design. This is pretty pretty old. A lot of these books are quite old and they are a lot of them are kind of science fiction-y or kind of political nature. Next up, another one I have never heard of, Kurt Vonnegut Jr. The Sirens of Titan. Um, can't say I've ever read that. Man, the design of some of these books. So, so old. Okay, next we've got Crime and Punishment by, I'm not even going to pronounce that. I have heard of this book, I haven't read it. And now I have the chance to. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've, yeah, I've, I've never really heard of this book. Um, this is The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, man, this is... God, these are so old. I bet some of these are, like, older than me. Man, it's water damage and... Oh, it's, it's a shame, but... Yeah. Got that kind of musty, musty smell. Okay, um, Halo of the Flood, <laughs> that's slightly more modern. Uh, yes, I've heard, of the, I've heard of Halo, and yes, I've heard of the Flood. Um, I know what it is. Um, yeah, cool, a bit more modern than some others. Um, Philip K. Dick again, Martian Time Slip. God, these covers, these are so, so fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, I've not heard of this one. Obviously, I've heard of Kilt Phil K. Dick, but yeah, not heard of that book. Next, we have. Whoa, this has a cover on it. Um, 
Aldous Huxley, Brave New World. Uh, I, I, I feel like I have heard of this. Um, I, this is from a library. Uh, I, d I don't know. Bars Hill Library, if you can, if you can see that. Okay, next we have Plato: The Republic. <laughs> wow, God, these are these are some really, really deep, intense reads. I'm going to say, wow. <laughs> Oh, yeah, The Two Towers, uh, J.R.R. Tolkien. I'm hoping that Lord of the Rings, um, Fellowship of the Ring is going to be in there. I'm going to say it is because the other two are in. Um, yeah, cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> bit out of left field. Uh, Xbox World 360 cheats. Uh, codes, secrets, tips and achievements for every single Xbox game. Every Xbox 360 game, I apologise. Wow, that's... That's a lot of games. Okay, that was random. Ooh, um... The Forever War by Joe Holderman. Man, I can't wait to read these. Got that star. Oh, I can't believe I got these for free. I really can't believe it. Well, wow. um, this is oh the zombie survival guide um, by Max Brooks. Um, was this the one? That... No, this is no that was World War Z, wasn't it? Um, by the same author. But yeah, cool. I'll definitely be reading this, even though it is he, whoever it was that gave me these. He hasn't really kept kept his books in good condition, so um, still read them. Camera Lucida by Roland Barthes. Um, I don't even know what that's about. Dude. That, that's... Yeah, I'll look more into that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Fellowship of the Rings. <laughs> oh, man. These are so hefty. Look at the size of those. <laughs> Okay, okay, we have a massive, massive book here. God, what is this? This is Halliwell's film video and DVD guide, 2005. God, look at the... I don't know if you can see that on camera, but look at the size of that text. It's absolutely minuscule. What? That's ridiculous. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, Dilbert Principle. So it's, 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 oh, it's basically a hardback cover full of Dilbert strips. Um, yeah, I'll definitely be reading that. Um, I love Dilbert. It's so good, and especially now that we're working in an office. Very much relatable. <laughs> so yeah, that's a good one. Um, Tony Bean Ben? Tony Benn, Arguments for Democracy. Um, yeah, some very political books in this in this box. And very dusty as well. Ansel Adams, The National Park Service Photographs. This is an interesting book. So the guy I got him off obviously loves politics, photography, and science fiction. So he sounds like a very, very nice bloke, to be honest. Uh, student Grub. Oh, he he used to be a student. <laughs> I assume, I assume he used to be a university student, and he's just kind of clearing out his student house. Um, yeah, his student box. The Book of Numbers, from zero to infinity, an entertaining list of every number that counts. Interesting. Yeah, I'll have a look at that as well. A nice little read. Uh, <laughs> wow, the ultimate encyclopedia of my mythology. Oh man, this, this, these books, man. Seriously, I keep saying it, but I can't believe how many random things there are in this this thing. Um, Greg Bear, Eon. Yeah, cool. 
Um. <laughs> oh man, seriously. Uh, A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking. That's, that's crazy. Wow. That's incredible. Quite an interesting cover. Uh, covers on both sides. What's that all about? Interesting. <laughs> Arthur C. Clarke, 2061 Odyssey 3, which is obviously the superb sequel to 2001 A Space Odyssey and 2010 Odyssey 2. Um, I did not know this existed, um, but now I can read it. Oh wow, this is slightly newer and in slightly better shape. Uh, the, I'm going to pronounce it wrong, everyone's going to hate me for this, but The Silmarillion by J.R. Tolkien. Um, yeah, wow. Okay, here's a really, really, oh wow, Homer, um, I'm going to pronounce it wrong again, the Iliad. Um, God, this is old. This is battered. Look at that. This has had some proper leafing through. Wow. This is definitely, definitely older than me. Obviously, the story is, the, the, but this, this is just so old, man. Wow. So they have kind of basically adverts in the back of the book. And, for example, uh, the Divine Comedy by Dante, Dante is two shillings and sixpence. That's that's ridiculous. That is so old. <laughs> the Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Yeah, this is also incredibly battered. This has literally got sellotape on the edges of the of the cover to hold it together. It's just what the hell? Okay, uh, Shakespeare, Macbeth. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, we're getting to the bottom of the barrel now. <laughs> oh, another Dilbert. <laughs> Oh yes, so many times yes. I absolutely adore Dilbert. What do you call a sociopath in a cubicle? Answer, a co-worker. <laughs> Love it. Oh, another Dilbert. Um, Journey to Cubeville. Yes. George Orwell, 1984. Um, not read this, I know it's well known, and I know I should have read it by now, but, yeah, 
definitely absolutely going to read this. Probably the first thing I'm going to read out of everything. So yeah, and now we have Douglas Adams, Mostly Harmless. Don't know what it's about. Um, obviously it's connected somehow to the Hitchhiker's Dark Guide to the Galaxy, I imagine. Yeah, there you go, Volume 5 and a Trilogy of 5. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll be reading that. Oh no! Oh no, that is so bent. And a CD's popped out. Um, this is Freedom of Emotional, Freedom from Emotional Eating by Paul McKenna. I, I should probably read this. Um, <laughs> and watch this, because the DVD in there, that's interesting. Oh, it looks like there should have been two. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. Um, wow. Wow. Oh man, Dean Koontz, the most clever and riveting vampire novel since Dracula. Man, I love Dean Koontz. That is a sounding, a resounding, I should say, quote from him. Um, yeah, I hope we're reading that as well. No idea, no idea what this is, but this is Solaris by Stanis, Stanislaw Lem. I apologise for butchering that name. Oh, got a another Halo book. Full Reach. Um, wow, what is this? It's very dusty. Um, how to create a flawless universe in just eight days by I don't know who it's by it says Godfather publications um, yeah I don't know who it is by but something else interesting for me to look at oh I've heard of this never read it but this is far from the maddening crowd by Thomas Hardy um, I really like this cover. That's a really, really nice cover. It's a very strange book as well. It feels like the cover feels very strange. I don't know if that's because of age or what, but very, very interesting. Oh. <laughs> Another Dilbert one. A uh, treasury of Sunday strips. Um, I think he used to have this before I had to get rid of it. Interesting how the world kind of comes back on itself. Maybe I'm fated to have this. Maybe. <laughs> Got an Xbox Live membership um, card. I assume it's been used. I mean, I haven't even got an Xbox Live account, so I don't know. Not, being, not gonna be able to use that. Um, This is a beer mat from the Bulldog in Amsterdam. <laughs> That's travelled a long way and now it's featuring in this video. Very, very strange. I like how this is going. And then last but not least, and last but not least I should say, this is a guide to bibliographic references um, by the University of Portsmouth about the Harvard format. I mean, when I, uh, when I went to university, I had something very much like this, but it was in digital PDF form. And that's everything, guys. Um, apart from this, absolutely knackered plastic crate, which is really dirty and horrible. But yeah, anyway, guys, just something else that's a little bit different from this channel. And if you did enjoy this video, then by all means, let me know by smashing that like button, posting me a comment, sharing with your friends. And obviously, if you do like this channel, then by all means, subscribe. Thank you very much.